Hello, and welcome to the next episode of Art of the Roll, where we take on the campaign Dragon Heist, made by Wizards of the Coast. And we have joined by our four great actors are over here. I don't think we really need to discuss anything else, so I say we just jump right into it. If you guys are good. Let's oh. adventure. You, you all are there at a busy day around a table. There's not too many tables in this tavern. There's about uh, seven of them. And so th- generally you end up sharing tables with people in this, even if you talk to them or not. Another flagon of ale. Another round for the table right here. Oh, Barkeep. So, uh, I'm, I'm actually wondering if any of you, uh, I don't look familiar to any of you, do I? I don't look like someone you know, met before, no? Nobody I've not no? seen you around these parts, but I'm rather new to Waterdeep myself. The name is Greyhide. Oh, no. Greyhide. Greyhide. So very shiny. Uh, do you guys want to, real quick, explain what you guys look like to each other? Uh, sure. Starting with uh, probably Zinakobi. When they see my character, they see a hooded figure in the back. Kind of keeping to herself, but not entirely to herself. She's very curious, but she stands aloof. Um, she's got pointed ears, so you know she's an elf. She carries herself with such regard. It's almost snobbish, so you automatically assume she's a high elf. I am, uh, I'm a paladin. I'm a tall, strapping gentleman, but a, a very new paladin, but he sort of, he, he, uh, builds himself up with a, with a, an air of confidence that, uh, is not quite yet earned, but, uh, he likes to think of himself as a very dashing and brave and noble knight. Yes, well, right now, I, I actually, I look like a very normal, sort of human, mercenary, working class, sort of a, you know, knight for hire, sort of. Uh, but, you know, but there's something about me that doesn't quite match, you know. It's, it's almost like my diction is a little bit too too refined for the working class uh, soldier that you're seeing in front of you. It's, uh... Yeah. Um, so I, um, human, I have, um, brown, straight hair, about a little longer than my chin length, have these kind of yellowy dish brown eyes, but more on the yellow side of things, just pretty simply hood, leather, um, I kind of keep to myself, but I'll interact at times. Yeah, not oh. more observ- observant right now. Oops. You finally hear over near the entrance of the of the tavern you're at, you hear a you pig! You like killing me mates, do ya? And you look over there and you see um, what seems to be a, a human with a shaved head with these tattooed eyes on his all over his head and uh, he looks like he has uh, kind of gaudy gear with patchwork leather and metal in places and missing a few teeth and he's facing off against this female half orc that stands like almost seven feet tall um, and he just yeah, he just also those I'm less attracted to uh, and he he pulls back his fist and does a haymaker forward and smacks her right in the jaw. And you kind of see her take it and then moves forward and just goes and tackles the guy. See, there's three other humans that enter the fray that are also looking similar with with eye tattoos on them. And they look about the same garb as that other guy. Okay. Let's get a look at what this looks like here. Not me. Fantastic. Um, so uh, what we look like. I wonder, is this is this a, a, a racially motivated crime? Because I wouldn't be. I believe it was. Oh God! Do you know, as <laughs> a staunch human, I'm very, very human, and I. As a I, human, I, you're prone to human thoughts. So yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, what did you roll, uh, Greyhide? <laughs> oh, initiative. Let me roll. There we go. Oh, there we <laughs> go. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, that's what happens when you take initiative. You roll initiative. You did, in fact, yeah. take initiative. You got up I first. I also tried to get between the orc woman and the, 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 the dirty humans, 
And I'm going to say, can everybody please stop? Ah. Well, I'm not particularly athletic, so let's see how that goes. <laughs> 14, 14. It's not 14, bad. Uh, yeah, she um, she was just standing up from being on the guy, and right when she um, stands up, you you shove her, and she kind of backs up a little bit. Not like malicious shove her, but you know, but you get in and you step in front. While I do that, I say, "Will you all just stop?" My God, a man after my own heart. I too yeah. want them to simply stop. Oh, Roll an no. intimidation. It's Jeffrey. Oh, I'm going to buy you another flagon of ale after this is all oh, done. Well. Girls don't need any. Thank God, life has really no don't. Nobody needs I've... a flagon of ale. Has it not escalated? Ah, he's has quite intimidating. He is. And well, you know, I've got a very deep timber when we'll I. We'll see if he's intimidating enough. Well, I. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> four and I rolled a nineteen. So yes, I'm quite intimidating when I want to be. It's funny. Uh, you're really looking at me. Yeah, they. They, they kind of, they say, fine, fine. Ah. I didn't, we'll finish this later, you and I, as she, he looks around you to say that. Uh, and they, um, unless any of you are going to do anything, they, they grab their unconscious uh, friend and drag him out through the door. I, I tell them to have a nice day. I tell them, and have not, a nice day. Interrogate them. Good, good riddance. I not them. to interrogate them. They, they're well. just leaving. Fair Interrogate fine, them. Fine. For what? Well, you know. And the and you you see this green, um, oh, this no. green warty hand appear over the top, oh, and you no. hear Durnham you hear Durnham, uh yell out, "Troll!" And this giant oh, uh, troll it puts his hand up and pulls itself up over the edge of the hole. Yeah. Also on it, though, you see these little. They're almost like tick like but uh uh like a mixture between a tick and a bat and they seem to be attached to it there's there's six of them flying around him and there's three of them attached to his back and you can see that they're they're pulling out the blood of the of the troll is that the thing so they're Uh. so around him are basically like giant ticks Uh, yeah like giant flying ticks oh god i think i'm going to vomit uh, Durnham pulls a, a great sword out from behind the bar and jumps up on top of the bar. Hmm. Look at that man. I like how he rolls. Now that's initiative. Uh, <laughs> and we trying to make yeah, I said the troll. Is that not your wife? No, forgive me, I'm wrong. <laughs> how dare you? How dare you? So sorry. So oh sorry. God. Have I offended you? You know, I... I, I think I, she's just being cheeky, Fitz Jeffrey. I mean, I, your I wife is a very, lovely, lovely woman. Well, I don't have a wife, but I'm no. a little bit flexible with my choices, as opposed to, but you know, I'm, I mean, I don't know. I, I can't even tell the gender of this troll. I don't want to be genderist, you know. I, I don't. Know. Not yeah. um, and that's an that that takes it out. It just right onto the ground. It makes a nasty mess. You see yeah. your own blood. You see your own blood Yuck. on the ground. Uh, his damn Sturgises. Sturgis? Sturgi? Sturgi. Sturgises? Sturgis. Sturgis. I think that's good. Sturgises. Sturgis. I like the way you Sturgis. say it. Sturgis. Yeah. Sturgis. Uh, Why am I the only one without a British fits. accent? Damn. Oh, yeah. I don't have a British right. accent. You're from the oh. country. It's just the you just sound there. refined. Uh, just... Stab the troll from behind, and uh, you know, like an honorable man, barbaric. But I will join the troll stabbing. It's quite barbaric. <laughs> Go for um, it. So, and I roll a uh, a one. Ooh. Plus five, <laughs> the six. So I I don't know if that does anything. Let me see something. Oh. Oh. I have to roll on the fumble table. Oof. Oh yeah. Um, you go in to, to attack with your with your rapier. It doesn't actually get through its hide, and the rapier bends like, and then it, it when it springs back, it flies out of your hand, and you hear your rapier clatter at, at the bar table behind you. Ah, oh, bloody hell! <laughs> I'm a little drunk. Sorry, this doesn't usually happen. I swear. I'm, quite I'm sure. You still have a bonus action to use your dagger. 
Well, I have no insight. No. Fireball uh, went off. You missed. Oh, well, you know. Uh, I missed. I missed both sides of that. I missed. She's not very make... perceptive, but she's very. <laughs> fire, I know. was blinded by gray. Uh, gray, gray. Gray. Gray hides. <laughs> I'm a... Gray hide. The stairs uh, that you put her on the floor. I don't the know. The troll. I'm He's making excuses. Tight. I've never done this bad. It's all right. I mean, my rapier's on the other side of the room. I can't blame you. Who will? Dernsey's a bloody mess. He is a bloody mess. He has blood all over him. His clothes are drenched in it. Oh, you know, I know someone who could get those very clean for you. I do. Really? Yeah, yeah. You? Oh, well, Always I'm... Always looking I'm, to make money, I see. I'm, I'm more in the management capacity <laughs> on that one, you know. Really Dernan takes his uh, greatsword, and he just comes down again, straight from the shoulder. I mean, from the neck and just slices all the way down. This giant gashing wound come, uh, leaves on the other side of the troll, and the troll falls over. Yes! That is a great sword. Yeah, and you got it. The yeah. troll seems to be uh, shaking his head and coming to. Oh. Oh, shit. Um, as you see, its wounds continue to close. Uh, alpha. Thing, doesn't mm. it? Um, I still have my torch. Yep. Yeah. I'll... Fire. Can I... Can I hit him in the wounds with my torch before it heals? Oof. Uh, yeah, he's idea. he's incapacitated, uh, so you just kind of put the torch up to him and watch. The, the troll actually seems particularly vulnerable to it and just catch and starts becoming a blaze. Uh, and Oof. while it's on fire, Dernan comes up and gives it a nice front snap kick, and it just falls oh. right into the pit. Dernan. Oh god! What a you don't hear you don't hear anything as it goes as it falls down. It's like oh, a bottomless like pit. Cool. Singing there, he's he's doing an okay job, not that great to be honest. And you see his loot only has three strings on it for some reason; it's missing a few. I'm and, digging this uh, hard, but oh, that's right. I should I probably like uh, put back his music. Uh, and he uh, yeah. his music. <laughs> This yeah, is my his, this is my jam right here. I love this bard. Oh my god! Yeah. I like the flute player actually. Fifteen hundreds. <laughs> he um. Maybe uh, I take can I take out my flute and see if I can join him. The, uh, yeah. Sure. Experience. Roll performance. Wow. Oh, our own oh, yellow eyes. Flute is a flautist. The flautist. Yeah. Performance. No. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. Swords and a flute. Oh, wow. A dirty 20. Yeah. Dirty 20. Yeah, you definitely enhance it. You start, uh, you can see some of the crowd start getting into the music now, where before they were just ignoring him. Uh, I really like it. Is uh, Greyhide going to start beatboxing on his shield? Is that going to happen now? (laughs) I think we need to watch that. Roll for, okay. He has this nice scarf, and he seems to have like merchant quality clothes on. You know, a little bit flamboyant, but not not too much. Um, he's a, he's a bit squat, like I said, and uh, and he comes up. Says, was that you who just attacked the troll? I know you. I saw you guys do it. That was amazing. Hey, let me get you guys together. I need to talk to you. Oh my God. And no. he, he'll try to sh- kind of get you to go over to. Uh, to the table where you guys started, where everybody can con- congregate, and and he says, right. "You gotta help me. I had a my friend Floon. He went missing. Your Ready adventures, right? I I can pay money. Money. Maybe you heard of me. My name is Velothomp Geldon. The uh, you gotta help me. I can pay you ten gold now, each of you." If you wow. if you go and look at my friend Floon, he's gone missing. Is that in water deep? He's not drunk. Okay, somewhere. wait. So I uh, I approached the I'm... guy and mm-hmm. uh, kind of turned on uh, my charm and uh, I tell him uh, fifteen gold. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, uh, okay, so. I tell you what. I'll I pay each this of you ten price. gold now, but I'll pay you. A hundred gold each when you find him and bring him back here. Oh my god. Hundred gold. Hundred. Ten gold now. Seems I like that. Gold. You know this alpha. Well, I, I I charm him because I I say fifteen now. Fifty up but front. Trust, 
15, because yeah, I don't trust him. 50 right now, because I don't trust him. So, She's I... Oh, yeah. one of the most brilliant women I've ever met. Just kind of maybe uh, flirt with him a bit, and... Yeah. Ooh. Uh, I'll let her I... handle the negotiations. Yeah, I'm actually quite impressed. Generally, I'm... I'm really impressed. impressed. Yeah, I'm uh, negotiating for myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, roll, wow. roll a persuasion. He looks a little defeated almost, and he says, Look, my Volos Guided Monsters isn't doing so well, okay? But I, can, I have friends. I can get the money before you get back. You know, this, this okay, so. yellow-eyed so ranger... So I insist is on at least 20 gold in front. My Three god. Because it sounds 20. dangerous. Uh, he will um, he will kind of fish through his pockets and and pull out uh, three sacks of ten gold and then pull out a, uh, make another little sack and, and add ten gold to it and give it to Alpha. My God, this woman's a right. hustler. I'm in. All right, absolute hustler. Well, really. well, I pledge to you right now that my word is my bond. With this ten gold, I will find Floon for you. This is my pledge as a member of my order. I don't know about you guys, but that's that's my pledge. Really? That's great. Um, <laughs> roll a wink. What's er what is everybody's exaggerated wink? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what of similarities? There's only so many ways. It's pretty bad. Exactly. That's All right, everybody. That means from uh, from WandaVision, uh, the witch from WandaVision does that. Really huge oh, yeah. one. I love her. So. Oh, I, oh, I love it. <laughs> Me, it looks like I just have some. Welcome in me. Yes, this I'm will be. A this game. Uh, also, I can do it here. Does that help? It probably doesn't help. <gasps> Excellent. It's a party yeah. parrot. Right. For a whole right. moment there. It's a party oh party my god, what's happening? Uh, I keep hallucinating. <laughs> it's the strangest thing. They thought they, they were, were going to watch some D&D &D and we're just like. Uh, the, the party parrot? <laughs> it's really hard to do actually the exact movement it kind of has like a <laughs> he's so unsure of himself what doing. he's like an introverted parrot at a party <laughs> introverted <laughs> parrot Holding. thank you for the <laughs> his facial expression is a little bit insecure isn't it Dude, uh, it's not long to get to the dock ward from there mm. as you get progressively into the dock ward you see that the buildings are, are run down they, uh, uh, the closer you get towards the actual ocean, it gets more and more the smell of salt and honestly excrement. Uh, the place smells like shite, literally. I make um, this space as we're walking through. Ugh. Do I have to roll anything for that? <laughs> Which means yeah. he has no vision. That's extremely uh, yep. unkind to the human race. I'm only yeah, I'm human too. Yes, he is. Earth. I'm not very human. Don't list out your faults. We already know you're human. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is elitist. That is an uh, elf elitist, I would say. <laughs> Ouch. Elf elitist. Elf elitist. That's a bit of a elf slur. Elitist. That's a bit of an anti elf slur. I'll, 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 I'll tone you know, it down. I kind of don't mind that. Elf wow. Kind of <laughs> I know a few elf elitist jokes later. <laughs> oh. I know a few human jokes. I'm looking oh, really? at them now. Oh! oh. oh. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> Zinger. The interest you see is that there's actually a shop. The whole uh, front of the shop seems to be painted in violet. And in the window of the shop, you see hanging a, uh, looks like a stuffed uh, beholder. You know, a little, a big oh, yeah. eye with a giant mouth and these big little eye. stalks coming out of it with eyes at the end of the stalks. But it's just like a little plushy thing hanging in the window. Uh, oh, you, you see some light in there. I do one of these. It makes me <laughs> comfortable. I do one of these. It seems to be a shop of some sort and it seems to be on. This is my cat who gets in the way. Aww. Aww. This is my cat, he is in the way. <laughs> we I have one of the a black cat too. With the cat. <laughs> it's it's really? uh, nighttime. It is nighttime, and that that that's what makes this stand out. Is the shop is actually open. So, uh, Dernan had kind of warned us about the dock wards at night, so we should just be a little extra cautious. Yeah, that, I mean that would be I, the sensible thing to do. I mean, but I my spirit of adventure seems to be gripping me right now. And I say, um, um, and I say, caution, 
Caution be damned when there's adventure afoot. Oh God. What do you say, my fellow knaves? Caution be damned. <laughs> that sort of that just sort of took me in the moment. That's how I'm feeling right now. I might no, not no, feel I that like way it. later. I like well, I say we go by a plushie and then go find Flu. Why don't we just go in and talk to him? Maybe he's seen Flu. I'll get you the plushie. How's that? The plushie's on me. Oh, God. I'll, uh, I'll wait outside. And on the counter, uh, in the in the middle of the shop, there's this counter, and there's just this hairless gnome who's sitting Indian style uh, in these purple robes um, and smoking a pipe. And when he, he notices you come in, uh, he immediately says, Hello and welcome uh, Come browse the shelves of the most curious curiosities in the world. Hmm. And he's, his hands are like up in the air with his pipe. He's like, come, come, look around. I want oh. what he's smoking. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask him, I'm going to say, uh, we're actually looking for a friend of ours. Do you know a, a red-headed uh, uh, fashionista named Floon who, who comes around here sometimes? Uh, he'll say, oh, yes, oh, yes, I did see that guy. He was uh, with a friend walking across the street. But the friend was... Uh, Oh, yes, I did recognize. That was uh, Rainier. Everybody knows Rainier. Ah, yes, I'm uh, a big fan of his work. Yes. Rainier never ember. And the moment he says that, um, Greyhide and, and Fritz, you don't even have to roll. You know who that is. <gasps> it's the son of uh, of the previous lord of Waterdeep. Oh, or, the, 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 the father's name was uh, Dagart, Dagart never ember. Oh, yeah, he's, that's, the, that's the Dagart never ember's uh, kiddo. Wow, that's yeah. puzzling yeah. that Floon would be seen with someone of such high social stature. Maybe well, that's maybe that's somehow connected to his disappearance. No, well, that was too far fetched. If you want to know about his disappearance, that was probably because they got mugged. There was oh. five people following them, and I saw it right in front of my shop. I, I closed the door immediately, and they uh, they they attacked him, beat him over the head, and dragged him off. My God, wow. what did they look like? These marauders. Yes, marauders, exactly. Yes. Oh, they... I didn't get a good look. They were kind of covered in garb, but uh, one kind of came by, and I, I saw a piece of his neck exposed, and he had a um, a tattoo of a snake. Mm. Uh, snake. Ah. Oh, my God. Right. Our voluptuous orc half, uh, half organ friend. <sighs> she was voluptuous, wasn't she? She was very voluptuous. <laughs> the family she made That's a what? Can I sell you a dice? Look at this dice, and it and it's like a purple dice. How much for that plushie in the window? That's what we're really in the market for. Oh, I no. promised it to a friend. No. Uh, Tell him it's Zoblob not. is not for sale. He's the namesake. You're an old Zoblob shop, and that's Zoblob. Well, I'm we'd sorry, love this. What about this whistle? What is the it's whistle? It's a wooden thing? whistle. I painted it purple. What about you. this? And he he. He grabs behind the counter and brings out a, a hand. Um, uh, it says, "This right. was a mummified hand of a goblin. I painted it purple." Oh no! I I'm see. totally sensing his theme with this. Uh, that's two gold. I also have this sheet of paper, and he pulls out, and it's like in a tube. He pulls out, and he shows you. See, something complex and confusing, and it looks like some type of contraption that that can be put together, maybe or something like that. Um, and mm. he's like, and I painted the backside of it purple. I, and I, then he rolls it back up and puts it back in the tube. How much for the I'll, paper? Two gold. What does the paper do? I don't know. Who knows? I, Maybe it does something special. Special. I think it's a blueprint. I think. And it's how many coins is it? it? It's two, two gold. Two dragons. I will give you one gold. And who else wants to chip in for the paper? I will. All right. All right. So you Let's both see. hand him a gold for it? Okay. Oh. He, uh, he seems almost surprised you bought it. And then he, uh, he says, Excellent. Right. Oh, I have this. And he walks over and grabs a box that's been painted purple. And he opens it up. And there's dirt inside. And he's like, yeah, Hold on. And he sticks his finger in it. And he pulls it out. And there's this worm. And he's like, This worm has two heads. A head on each side. And you look close. And yeah, there's a head on both sides. Okay. Isn't that awesome? And he puts it back into the box and closes it. This is only three gold. Why is... Why... A, a double-headed worm. It's real. You can't see anything in that. This... Well, you can pull it out. I mean, it's very <laughs> cute. That's wow. <laughs> That's not what she said. 
<laughs> Just in case you guys want, uh, in case you're curious, I have 10 other items I can go through if you want. No. No. <laughs> no. Hold up! <laughs> I bet you guys that they're going to be painted purple. One more item One more. I'd like to hear. Yeah, no. Okay. Go. There's this ring! It's brass, and it never tarnishes. It's also painted. Any enchanted items? Items of use? What? Enchanted's kind of relative. Um, that he goes, I have this arrow, and he pulls out this old-looking arrow. It's, it's an ancient arrow of, uh, made by elves, and I painted it purple. How dare you? Do you How like purple? How dare you? Uh, the skewer dragon, um... Looks to be a building that's had better days. Uh, the both of the front windows to the to the tavern have been busted open uh, to the elements. They um, the the ceiling actually has this anchor for some reason, like lodged into the ceiling. Um, like a boat anchor. Like a boat anchor, yeah. Yeah, that would be pretty hard. So, like it and, damaged the ceiling. Like a, a boat anchor is yeah. damaged. The ceiling. Yeah, it well, looks like is... it was dropped there somehow, and it's just like poked through the ceiling a bit. He's such a good guy. You... Okay, so do you, guys want... do you guys want to go to the warehouse and I'll go to the bar? I mean, what are we okay. going to get from the bar, you know? Aside from... I mean, well, we yeah, there's an anchor. What go. else do you get from a bar? Yes. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> point. All right, you know, I've changed my answer. Let's go get a drink. Three <laughs> I'm so worried about Floon, but a drink is a drink. I mean, well, the drink is a drink. <laughs> we might get information there. You know, we can meet some unsavory characters to learn more about the anchor. Yeah. All right. On our way to the bar, I would like to perceive whether there are any tattoos on the necks of the clientele that are circled with a bunch of lines. Or Roll perception check. Like yes. Very Let's perceptive. See. Did you say clientele? I like that. Clean yes, tell. Clean tell. I one for perception. Oh. oh. <laughs> Have you already had it, a drink? You start well, to look around it. and you look at someone's neck to see if they have like a snake tattoo and you see his clothes and you're like, oh, that clothes, that's terrible. Oh. How can people live like that? And you just oh. can't get past it. The fabric is so rough. The chafing must be unbelievable. Ugh. <laughs> Poor man. I'm so happy. Okay, I'll, uh... So there's there's a there's a barkeep. I'm gonna try. Is there is there like a barmaid or a a, a damsel of some there's sort? There's a there's a boy kind of that eye. looks like he's going around. He's he's serving things. <laughs> um, whenever someone boy. you know raises their hand, you hear the barkeep. Hey, boy, go get that guy another drink. Okay, I'll wave. Bar boy, bring me a flagon. No, just just come over here. I'll just, I'll just gesture to him, and then <laughs> as if I'm going to order, and then I'm not going to order anything. So I'll just he, he kind of he kind of looks at the bartender, looks at you, and kind of waddles up to you. He seems to have some type of gimp leg a bit. Oh, oh so cutie. Oh. I say I'd like to order a beverage, but first, what could you tell me about Floon? Have you seen him in the last few days? Uh, I don't know nothing, and he walks away. From you me. you get the idea that. It's you're not even sure he heard your question. The he just wanted to get the moment he started asking questions. He's like, nope, 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 nope. What are we doing next? No, I I uh, kind of go and uh, sit at the bar and order a drink. You know, I'm just gonna okay, take so my flagon and wander seductively through the bar and say, Do I look seductive. familiar to anyone? Oh God. <laughs> Does anybody you know, I... do I look familiar? Anybody I... have seen me before? What? What's wrong with that? Sit. Someone actually Sit. kind of. Uh, uh, he said, someone said, yeah, I seen you. Oh, where? I seen you around. What do you want? Oh, you know, I'm just, I've had a terrible spell of amnesia, and I'm just trying to figure out where I've been the last few days. Do, do you know who I spent time with or where I've been? I, I can't remember anything for the life of me. But back to know. Zenikobe. The, um, so you go up to the boy. What do you do? I am trying to flirt with him or make him feel comfortable or flirt with him. To get the information out. And a giant cat walked across the hey, bar. Look. Does this look familiar? Is it a, is it a oh. Kobe? Damn it. Oh, you stole oh. my cat. Oh my god. <laughs> the cat is changing. It's a teleporting genius. cat. No, never mind. Stay away, genius. Love you. It's <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's yes. a shame. The guy uh, says, 
that's weird. I, I've seen you at the docks out there on one of the boats, going in and out. I look to the right. Thank you. <laughs> hey, he teleported again. I don't even see oh him. Teleporting. <laughs> Catapulted, yes. Uh, so you got an 11. Uh, actually, 11 is probably enough that you can. He, he says, uh, I'm not supposed to talk to, to people. It's all right. I'm he kind of looks at the bartender. Don't, flirt, don't look at him. He's not going to help you. Look at me. Hello there. Help me against what? You don't. Damn it. I had it. <laughs> <laughs> I had it. <laughs> My ADHD got in the way there. Um, <laughs> you're gonna tell um, me who you saw. Now, be honest. Have you seen a man with fiery red hair? It was kind of blondish red. Yeah. Blondish he left red. with a. He left with another guy. Really fascinating. Where? Uh, out the door. Right, out the door. And that's it. <laughs> Have you seen him since? He, no, no, he hasn't showed up again. He comes here uh, quite a bit with that other kind of fat guy. Right. And the people that t- were with him when he left. What did you they- hear over you hear over the the bar. Boy, get back to work. Don't you dare mm. look at me. <laughs> yeah, he he <laughs> says Uh I gotta go and he starts trying to walk away. Right. Well, you hear in the back. Here. Didn't I tell you not to converse with the clientele? You deliver drinks and clean the tables. How rude! Oh, you're getting him in trouble. No, Alpha. no, he's he's our Are guest. Are you doing anything in, in in this time, Alpha? Are you going to sit there drinking? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm at the bar, and I'm trying to just see if I can, I'm trying to just see if I can pick up chatter for the moment, and okay. like kind of observing the interactions at the. Right now, that's for now. You hear over at a table next to you, you hear, man, that, that's, uh, Xanathar and Zen Guild, uh, gang wars getting terrible, tearing up the streets. I hear they're, I hear they're looking for, uh, Never Ember's gold. It's supposed to be somewhere in the city. Mm. And then, uh, gold. you hear another, another, hear another, um, person here. Have you heard? They've been killing elves in the street. They don't know who it is, but someone's been just straight up murdering anybody with pointy ears. Well, that's just... That's about... <laughs> well, I, am I the only one so far who's picked this up? Yeah, yeah, you're actually sitting there. The rest of the people are talking to people. You're the one sitting there Meanwhile, I'm listening. sitting here vulnerable, not knowing <laughs> the inevitable, not knowing I'm um, about to get murdered. Depends um, what you're asking. All right, I'm going to ask him about... My friend with the reddish blonde hair, the Weasley boy. Yeah. Yes. Well, now he's oh, going to wow. open. He's going to open like it's the fourth world. What, what do you do to get him to open up like that? Ooh. First of all, come in very slowly and go, who'd like to order a drink, please? <laughs> and like wow, that, that probably works, yeah. Anything for a pretty lady. lady. I'll even give you half off, one copper piece. I'll pay full price. I just want some information. What do you want to know? Everything. Just kidding. Um, (laughs) Well, when I was born. No. Oh, God, no. Save us (laughs) the tears. Um, I would like to know. There's a friend of mine in here. A couple days ago, he owed me some money. Uh, He had a bit of reddish blonde hair. He dresses foppishly elegant. You mean... You mean Floon. He comes in here now and then with that Volo guy. Yes. Absolutely. Do you know where I could find him? Like I said, he owes me quite a considerable amount of money. Well, he was in here about two days ago, mm-hmm. getting drunk, playing uh, Five five Dragon Ante. Oh. And, uh... Sounds like love him. that game. Love it. And... He, uh, it's... his, fr- they were both really drunk, and his friend left. But then, uh, Raynar, of all people, came walking in here. Mm. And Raynar. when someone in the crowd hears, uh, hears the name Raynar, they're immediately like, uh, uh, damn nobles coming in trying to show out their, show off their wealth. 
Mm. And yes. then, uh, <laughs> awful times. The, uh, and the barkeep continues. He says, yeah, and then after they left, five, five people followed after them, right out of the bar. Do you happen to know if they were, what are they called again, Zen? Zent, Zentarum, Zent. or people just call them Zent. I don't know if they were possibly Zent. Zent. Uh, someone on the side, again, who's eavesdropping. Uh-huh. It seems to be a common theme in this bar. They uh, they say, hell yeah, there is Zent. I saw the snake on one of their necks. Really? Hmm. Yep. They were, they were heading out to the warehouse. And then really? this guy next to him says, uh, yep, yeah. he's an old guy. Yeah, I looked out the window and they were going right down the street. I saw them heading right out to the warehouse at the end of the street there. Well, you can't miss it. There's a there's a snake symbol right above the door. Oh, why aren't they quite obvious then? They don't right? feel like they need to hide. Hmm. Thank you so much for your time. I need to go. Aren't you going to drink your ale, pretty lady? I pick it up, and I pour it out in front of them. Oh, Whoa. God. That's How food. rude. That's what are I paid he, for it. I paid for it full price. He takes his rag and I, off, and he spits on it, and wipes it. Get out of here. Dan, when I, uh, when Dan I see this, you kind of need to keep a little profile, and I, um, I, tell her what I, I tell you basically what I would have heard when I was at the bar. Um... And that about the situation the is probably yeah about the ears, and that the situation there's a gang war, and that the situation's pretty like serious, and we're gonna have to be extremely cautious. Do you, do you only tell her uh, that you don't share it with the men in your? Well, like I, she's drawing she attention to herself, spilling beer, speaking out loud, and you guys are like, so I. She's also the only one with pointed ears. Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, so, listen, <laughs> I'm wrong with them. It is not like I'd want to be human, anyways. Is there a way for you to No. We're trying to find a lost person. Is there a way for you to conceal your ears? Yes. Let me chop them off for you. Oh, God. I refuse to have my hood. I think. A spell or. I think I think the ears are not conspicuous. There's plenty of people with pointy ears in this town, and people. orcs, orcs, yes. elves, orcs. people. Yes, orcs have pointy ears. I just, I just no. I like say it. orcs also have pointy Jay, ears. You might as well call me a pixie. Oh, think... Devilish of you. Devils also have pointy ears. You can mm. hide behind it's that bad. screen, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I am going to drain my flagon. I'm back. Uh, sort of. It tastes terrible. Them insulting each other. Is that And that no. out of the bar. Uh, He's gonna walk I straight there. I'm gonna just. I think I'm gonna stand back at the bar for a little bit, and I'll catch up with you guys. Uh, Amalia, what do you do after there? How long do you wait before you do something? No. So I'm trying to. Uh, is, uh, I want to talk to uh, that little kid. Again, like I feel like he knows, like okay. he knows more, but he's like scared. You have to wait for a while, but you finally see him uh, go uh, go outside to throw some garbage out, some refuse out. Okay. Um, and you so can then grab I just, him then. Uh, yeah, I just give the kid uh, just a snack for now. Okay. Well, um, roll a persuasion. It's not sweet. Persuasion. Get an idea of how much he it's likes so the good. snack. Uh, is what kind of snack is it? Like a cracker or is it like a cookie? Oh, is it like fantastic. deer jerky? But um, oh, be very wonderful. Jerky. Yeah, yeah. He, he takes it and he goes, oh, "Thank you, miss." And he puts it in his pocket. I'll eat it later. Yeah, I don't say anything else. Just, just for now. Like I'm just kind of trying to build, uh, build trust. Okay. Trust. Uh, I yeah. got, I, I got to get back to like work. This... Yeah, I don't say anything. I just feel like he knows more than he's saying no. i believe mm. it as well he on the, he'll he'll start heading back in and he kind of like waits a second and turns around and and says 
I... I saw some dark figures walking after the other dark figures that were going towards the warehouse. Really? I don't know what it means. Uh, but I also hate my uncle. And he goes back in. He hates his uncle? Okay. Yeah, and he waddles back in. Um, okay, so yeah, you're at the building, uh, Greyhide. And... Um, you see the... You're looking at the front of the building. It, there's a gate... Uh, the metal i said there was a metal gate it's about 15 feet high a very tall one um but the front gate door just seems to be skewed open it's not actually locked or anything um in front of the building you see two main doors one is like a giant warehouse door to actually move carts in and out another door is next to it, which is like a more normal sized door you see a window um next to the big door but it lo- seems to be completely painted over you can't see through it at all up the side of the building there's um, a kind of a rickety staircase that's going up the side of the building. You're not sure uh, that the the strength of it looks like it might be in question. I'll try going. I'll try going through the gate and, and just uh, further down that. Uh, okay. That You're just walking in normally. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Wait. I'm going to go up the stairs okay. and come in through the top. Roger. All right. <laughs> I'm did going to did you up. whisper, Roger? <laughs> no, I'll give him one of these because I'm a little bit. Oh, more. okay. <laughs> you know. Please roll in, a stealth. Back in my day, I was actually considered back in your day. quite skilled. <laughs> You're human. No, I well. <laughs> why does why is race oh, always sorry. an issue with you? Right? You twenty plus four. Because my race is always you. With you don't girl. see. You don't see fits anymore. He just, he blended in with the shadows. He somehow got into, towards the building. You just don't see him. Oh, God, no, we lost him. But roll a uh, sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. This is how well you can kind of move around on the stairs without causing issues. Because the stairs look like they're not long-lived. 19. But you have no problem. You start start stepping on one, and you hear that... And then you're like, oh, nope. And you skip that one. And you go up the next one. And you're able to kind of make your way up those stairs um, without breaking or times. causing issues. I do believe I have a, a lock picking kit in my uh, equipment. Ho oh, ho! I rolled a one, which plus four is a five. Oh my god, no. Oh. Did you hear I'm, that? I'm usually quite good at this. I don't know what happened. It's just a snot. So. Unless doesn't think. Sorry, guys, I'm not used to this kind of door. I'm used to... What door? What kind of door are you used to? <laughs> nicer doors. This is a nicer kind of door. We want to have an handle and just open. Door is garbage. I hit door. Smells like garbage. I'm there walking on my door. tippy toes down here, so... Okay, you know what? I'll wait. I'll wait, while, I'll wait while they get in position, but I'll just give them a significant look and let them know, when you're ready, I'm going to kick the door. Yeah, so you see him make those motions, the, and then kicking motion. Kicks it. What do you, the rest of you want to do? Cat punch. Um, cat punch. Mm-hmm. I'd say we let uh, we let Fitz kick upstairs first, and then I don't know. We, I hit free with free. Yeah, fine. I'll take one for the team. I kick the door. <laughs> <laughs> I right. think I've been eating my Wheaties. Oh, that's a nice. Oh game. yeah, the door goes, bam, and bangs against the back of the wall as you kick <laughs> it open. Maybe a bit too much. Okay. <laughs> I walk you, in the door and I look around. You look out. You see boxes and crates of different. Uh, you can't really see what's in them, but there's boxes and crates piled everywhere. Um, you, the level you're on is like a balcony that goes along uh, two sides of the warehouse and you can you would be able to see down into the to the actual main floor if you were next to the balcony. What's everybody else doing while while he's I'm doing all this? Guys- I'm going to make my way up to uh, join Fitz. Yes, I am Because right he found his way in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're the first one to do it. Roll a um, sleight of hand. Uh, Greyhide needs to roll a sleight of hand to try to go up those stairs without completely destroying them. Ooh, yeah. oh, darn. Ooh, okay. Critical <laughs> fail. Oh no. Oh no. Your your leg you're going up and your leg just like 
completely the goes art of the through role, a board. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. The art of the <laughs> Red that was definitely artful. And then you try to compensate by putting another leg over to another board, which also breaks. And you just wow. get a nice whack right between the legs with the board cool. in the middle. Which oh, luckily does does give and also breaks through and you fall straight through the stairs. Oh. Um, and there's three boards missing from that part of the stairs, and there's this big crack, crack, crack. And then, doof. Guys. Well, the, time for... <laughs> the time for subtlety is over. No, no, I was behind Fitz. Oh, you were? Okay. Then, um, yeah, you could... Well, you would have had to go up the stairs. So, you'd have to roll a sleight of hand to make sure to see if you can get up those stairs. Well, this is going to stop. <laughs> Don't fall through the large man-shaped hole in the middle. I'm going to try not to. <laughs> you don't tell me what to do because then I'm only going to expect what I can't do. Right. Oh. <sighs> Light of hand. Oh, God. I'm scared. Okay, oh. I can't see that. Fudge. Oh, uh -oh. why is this guy always... Oh, wow. Damn. Well, these stairs were not made for elves, and clearly... Yeah. Yeah. You start to walk, and you lean on the rail, and the rail just goes... <laughs> and it falls There's off the entire wrong with side the of the dice rail. dice today, guys. The dice are just not in our... And the, uh, you, um, you, hit, you see this rail coming down at you, uh, Greyhide, and you just kind of step out of the way. Ah! Wow! I think the warehouse is going to kill us, and not the people inside of it. I think that's what's <laughs> happening. So I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to sneak back through the room to the door to the stairs, lean out, okay. look at them, and say, Will "You guys keep it freaking down. I'm trying to work here." <laughs> then, I'm to, then I'm going you to go back. Feathers? What? I'm I'm. You guys have good learning. You're all built like feathers. Oh, I shake yeah. my fist at him. <laughs> Notice how you're wearing armor. What are you wearing? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? So then I go back through, <laughs> and then I very carefully sneak down the stairs to the main floor of webs. How many times is he gonna try? Oh, exactly <laughs> what I've been doing, pushing my cat down. So I'm gonna sneak down the stairs. I'm. Uh, when you make it over, or uh, you start going this way, right? Yes. When you make it right here, um, you come around that box, and you. Uh, you feel a sharp pain in your side. Well, let me see. Oh, shit. I mean, oh. Actually, um, does a 12 hit you? My AC is uh, somewhere on the sheet. Yes? That is right. Near the top. 17. 17, 17 wow. Um, Very dexterous. Yeah, yeah but you, you quickly dodge out of the way. Um, and you see this creature. Its head seems to be uh, hooded in a black hood. And all you can see coming out of it is this giant beak. And it has little beady eyes at the base of its beak. It's about half your size. It, the whole thing is covered in hoods. You see black gnarled hands and feet sticking out from its from its clothing. And it has a little uh, short sword that it tried to stab you with. Ah, uh, that's rude. All um, right. Let's roll... Uh, Let's roll you initiative. Know, I am enjoying all of your human jokes much more than I should. I Thanks, John. Thank you. They only yeah. for you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, maybe also Greyhide. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In Greyhide. So, You're can you right. see this? Yes. Um, yes. This oh, is, this is uh, light with dexterity. That's the little creature there. Yes. And oh, that's you. Oh, he's adorbs. The rest of you are uh, outside the warehouse. At the bottom of the stairs. Cutie, cutie, cutie. <laughs> yes, Alpha, come in here and tame this 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 little pointy creature. I'll call him Mr. Uh, Stabby. I have to but make my way in. Alpha got the highest. Yeah, uh, Alpha. I don't know how much door kicking I can do. There's a window you can yeah. smash. Now we know because uh, there is a window. It's painted over, but you could smash that. It'd probably be easier than the door. Yeah. Where? So I don't know. Um, right next to the door. Right now. Wait, why do we have to the smash? Top floor. Smash. 
Wait, why do I have to smash oh, him in? So why cool. don't we just come in the way he came in? Uh, yes, you can walk up around this way if you want, uh, down over to where he came up on the stairs. But it's um, you have to go up those rickety stairs. But you, if you're dexterous, you probably won't have any issue with it. Just, just be careful. We've lost three stairs and a railing at this point. I am so. pretty dexterous, so I will do that. Cause okay. Yeah. Then uh, as you go up the stairs, roll sleight of hand. Oof. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you get to the gap wow. where where uh, <laughs> Gray Hyde fell through, and you decided to jump to the next available step, now. and you go right through the stair. <laughs> and oh, Gray Hyde, oh. you now have a uh, alpha next to you <laughs> that came through. So the... Is is the stairs the final boss of this adventure? <laughs> Yes. It's kicking our ass. Stairs. I think we should friggin' take off and just run away. Go, yes, go back and say, idea. look. I think we should take off. the stairs. No, no. <laughs> so I mean, we can't. We can't. I will say, this, the stairs look like they have low HP at this point. <laughs> I'm not going to really? climb those stairs. Those stairs <laughs> only. Like, just crush those stairs. Yeah, it's, it's fine. The cat listened to you and took out the stairs. You rolled them out. <laughs> Wait, thank you. Somehow Fitz has dis- defeated the stairs and it's kicked all of our asses. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so. I okay. Wish you Anywho, I that, I that, the rest of your turn is, is spent getting up and brushing yourself off. Thank you, my fire spell, please. Yes, you can. I'm going to fry this bed into Kentucky Fried Chicken. Whatever. Mm. KFC. Back then. All right. Firebolt. Six damage. It hits the the Ooh. kinku and and uh, you you see it start to catch on fire. It's like and it puts itself out. Then uh, the That's monster, great. the kinku. Now that you know well, what it is, is going to continue to attack the Kobe. There's no reason for it to switch targets. Well, wonderful. Well, I mean, no sorry, reason. Well, you know, hey, it makes sense. It makes no sense. God. You what just sense lit it on fire. Me? You just lit it on fire. It comes it like comes that. through and, and tries to stab you. One. Why are they singling it, me out? I don't like you. We're all aggressors. Oh, wow. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> it's probably because you're an elf, you know? It's, it's... They're probably mad that you destroyed their stairs. <laughs> yeah, learned. it was her. I am learned. Did not. I... That is definitely you a team were my predecessor. <laughs> that was a team. Wow. Well, well, actually, well. all of you but one did take out pieces of the stairs. Yeah. That's so not point really fingers good. here. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Xenocobia <laughs> and a few of us destroyed the stairs. That's, that's uh, no, happened. you destroyed uh, the stairs. Well, it, it does a fifteen hit you? Uh, not quite. I have a seventeen. Oh wow! Somehow managed to. You got some pretty good armor there, Fritzy. Yeah, Fritzy. Oh, it's not armor. He's in a normal. I, I just sort of, I hear it whistling, and I sort of poof. And it, you you know, pirouette just, out of the way. As I, I, that's how I picture it. A nice pirouette. And, a couple uh, slings of and arrows. He must have been a cheerleader. Unassailed by slings and arrows. Here's a, here's a nice little detail. If anyone was paying very close attention, they would see a couple of white blonde hairs, pure white, snip from the arrow and drift down from this male brunette. I wasn't paying attention, but thanks. <laughs> I'm going to stab this flaming bird, and I'm going to say, you've been roasted, now you'll be sick Is that what you call it? Yes. Fricasseed. Yes. Fricasseed. 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 I love it, though. I, love it. I said fricassee. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> and then... I also stab it with a rapier, right in its chickeny heart, and for 22. And what's the other word? Where you twist it, you can rotisserie, like where where he would rotate, (laughs) rotisserie. A flaming bird. It smells delicious in here. Like it smells like a Swiss chalet in here right now. That's right. You stab in at it, right at its gut, and you pull out, and it kind of grabs its gut in it, it, but it stays on two feet. It looks like he's going to try to lunge at someone. Oh, he's not dead yet. Uh, well, if he's not what dead yet, then doing? I'm going to take my dagger and I'm going to say, you've been roasted, fricasseed, and now you'll be rotisserie and then stab <laughs> him again. Ha! Oh, God. My nice. word. I could watch you stab chickens all day. Oh, my gosh. 
I might have to get a job in a restaurant. I've got a 15. Does that get it? That'll hit. Yeah. Roll ah. the damage. You don't get the plus two. Or the plus two. Yeah. So two. I give it a two. Oh. I give it a little nice. last little nick on its beak. Like, uh, that is enough, though. At this point, this guy just, uh, you see him just drop his weapons and put his his little, uh, gnarled hands up. Excellent. I've been rolling crap all day. It's enough. You, uh, you go up behind him and you get him in a full Nelson and he can't move. Alright. <laughs> he opens his mouth and you hear, Xanathar sends its regards. Oh, that's nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, that is nice. That, that gang, no. you know, that gang, the, the, the other gang. <laughs> I thought they were the bad guys. Zenith. No, I thought Zenithar was the bad guy, but now he sends his regards. I kind of maybe he I think he me insane. I don't think he means it in a pleasant way. I, I agree with this. Yes. Explain. Ex well, was he being disingenuous in, in sending his regards? Is that what you're saying? Great no, I, 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 think, I think he's just trying to give you the information you want, you know? Where's, where's Floon? Denethar's okay. regards? Kind of implications? I think you're on to something. <laughs> uh, when you ask, who asked about Floon? It was you. Um, yes. uh, he says back to you, tell us where Floon is, and it's ex your exact voice. Oh my god, did you see that? He's like a mockingbird. He's parroting you like a like some sort of parrot. I didn't know I had such a nice voice. This some is sort of parrot. parrot. It says like that. Parrot. Some sort of parrot. Oh. You hear, he opens his beak again, and you hear, tie up the pretty boy in the back room. Back room. Does uh. he mean me? No, he's no, repeating what the criminals no. were saying. He's repeating, like he's a parrot, no. so he's repeating what they were saying. Oh that means he's in the back room. Where's the so, room? Oh, I see it now. It's probably in the uh, back. What, what you guys have seen so far... Is... Hmm. I think we should make the bird say some more things. Or should we go look for a back room? Or should I we think... go look for... I don't think or this should bird... should we go look for a back room? You this hear bird is say. no longer... Uh, yeah, he's, so fun. <laughs> our, he's no longer a threat to us. I think we should let him go. Would oh, be no. The, would be the noble no. thing to do. Why don't we just... You should let him go. That would be the noble thing to do. Well, See, that, we got that's two boats. <laughs> I say take the bird with us. Yes, he take the bird. Need to take the door. He might be able to be used so right. that we can get into the back room. All right. Mm. I'll if I the can bird says, carry him. No. Take that's the bird with you, us. Yes. Right, which are you going the back? Any more flat feathers? I kind, I kind of agree. And take him with us. He might be. He might be uh, useful. A useful ally. Yeah. Who knows? It's like you our smeagol. He kind of like dips his head down and says, Xanathar sends his regards. Yeah, well, you're about to get your regard. Sounds very back. Uh, I'll be there. That's Let's what let Birdie there. go. He's been so great. No, 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 no. We're taking Let's let, Bur feathers. Let's let Birdie go. Let's let Birdie go. a little bit because he's That's my buddy. Me. It kind of you shakes know, his head away from you. Let's let Birdie go. I do see? feel bad now. What if we pluck another? Around. I pluck another feather. See if he says anything. Roll an unarmed Ooh. attack. You're gonna roll a critical. I, I know it. You're gonna kill him. Uh, yeah, what do you kill him? Wait, what do I roll? Hmm? Unarmed. Uh, uh, unarmed attack. Oh, unarmed attack. Yeah. Yeah, you pluck another feather off. Um. You hear him. His mouth opens, but no noise comes out. Um, Poor thing. He says, he, he kind of looks desperate around, shrugs his shoulders, and says, uh, No time to loot the place. Just get him to the boss. Ooh, somebody mm. took someone to a boss. All right, we're keeping this bed. bed is yeah, we need to say, where is the boss? We gotta like we where to, where's the boss? He says he says we should let him go. No. Yeah, that's what I Are said. Are you telling me that they let this man go? The one that we're looking for. They no, let No, that's him go. he's repeating what I said earlier that we should let the bird go. So that, that's oh, all right. He says what I'm is he, he, he immediately looks at Greyjoy and says, We should let the bird go. We make decisions later, you know? So we don't then we can rotisserie him if they have a rotisserie or an oven. Yeah. We do not have to kill him. We just need him. 
I mean, if you're hungry, Greyhide, we he looks at you. Two of them. We do not need to kill him. <laughs> don't, don't worry. What? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I look at him and I want to make him feel at ease. So I try to charm him and I say, "What's your name, little bird creature?" Oh no. Well, I'm not trying to seduce him this time. Just charm him. He... I can charisma check. Uh, yeah, make a pers- persuasion. Oh. And he'll say, uh, That's good get out of my room. way, tricky, get out of my way, tricky bastard. Okay, well, uh, so first of all, I rolled an 11, and second of all, clearly at some point there was a tricky bastard between the bird person and the, and the thugs. You are the tricky bastard. He shakes his head no, and then points at himself, and says, get out of the way, tricky bastard. Oh, oh no. they were just here. Oh, these poor bird people, they were invaded by the Xenokobi. I feel so bad for killing them now. You mean the Zentarum? Yeah, but, but... The Xenokobi. Just because I am high elf does not mean that I prey upon animals or beast-like creatures. Do you eat meat? Only okay, the delicious I ask... <laughs> Can I, um... I mean, so do I, you like, know. What I don't know, would it be like persuasion? Could I ask him, like, where Zenithard is? Thank you, Yates. Uh, okay. Um, he's pretty scared right now with all the chatter. He's gonna say, he'll, you don't have to roll it, he'll say, uh, follow the yellow signs and the sewers. Oh. Oh, that's good. Just in case. That's good. Okay. Now we gotta find the sewers. You go to the back room, which is, uh, right here, and, um, you open it up, and, uh, you can hear in there, like, uh, you hear some breathing. Ooh. And you hear breathing under one of the canvases. Ooh. Can we go and... Guys, there's someone in the canvases. Let's, let's go. kill the canvas person. No, let's, well, let's open know. up. Let's... It might, it might Attack! Oh, that's true. No, 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 no. We that's just... True. Let's... Wait, wait. Let's remove the tarpaulin to see yes. who it is. Really? Right. 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 Kobe. Before we kill him. Oh. Let's go save Let's Floon. See. Oh, look, someone's tied up in a canvas. Let's chop its head off and then see <laughs> yeah. And then Please. we'll know who it is. Really not. This yes. is what high elves do, you know? I am your bad every time. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Only about Watch out to another bed like creature. So, <laughs> yeah, you, you lift over the canvas and a, and a guy springs up. Um, what did I say? You guys recognize him or might not, but. Uh, he has like blondish hair. He's he's wearing some basic garb. He has smudges all over him. Um, he looks like basic adventuring garb almost. Uh, and he, um, it's like adventuring garb but without any armor on. It's just decent right. stuff to to travel with. And he um, and he kind of like backs up into the corner and says, uh, and he has a bit of a refined voice even though he's covered in in. Uh, soot and, and smudges and he smells like fish and he says pray tell what are you doing here what's your intention what's your intention Ooh, he's very Maybe sexy him. Very I rolled to seduce asking, what's his name I asked what's his name <laughs> not yet my Roll name is seduce. my name is Rainier never never uh, Rainier Rainier that's Flynn's friend oh. never ember He's the fellow who they kidnapped because they wanted his daddy's gold. Did they kidnap you because they wanted your daddy's gold? Yes, I do believe that is why they captured me. But they misconceived my friend Floon as being me instead, since he is dressed quite well. Oh, no. Uh, Well, we're here to try and help Floon. If you can help lead us to Floon. So if you could do us a favor and get back underneath the blankets so that we don't see that we were here... We'll be back for you afterwards. Well, That's hang on, hang on, actually why wait, I was what? there. Oh, were you hiding? Oh, I was hiding. Sorry. Yes. Coward. Not very well. Um. <laughs> so, Hi, Lena, please. That's what I'm doing. So, coward. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, um, uh, Raina. So your father has this gold. Guys, Do you have any really idea weird. where they would have taken Floon? Uh, no, I don't. But I know they were. We were brought here by Zintarin, and then, um, and then the Zintarin were attacked by a gang of uh, Xanathar. They fought for a while, and I ran in the in the middle of the fight and found this hiding place. I believe they took Floon. 
We believe that he was taken into the sewers, and there was yellow signs in the sewers. Do you know how we can get there? Uh, no, he doesn't know anything about can the I... sewers. How about he, I... he says, though, or he'll say, sorry, he'll say, um, but if you go, and he walks over to one of the bodies that were dead, and he, he grabs a rapier and puts it in his belt and a dagger, and he says, but if you go and look for Floon, I will go with you and help. Floon yeah. is my friend. Mm. Oh, it's his friend. How else roll an insight? I mean, no, we all know that I'm not that us. lucky today. Can someone <laughs> else roll insight? I Please. will roll insight. I'm Thank and you. this guy. Okay. I'm also going to roll an insight. Roll rolling Sorry, insights. I don't get very high. <laughs> No, guys, though, you, you like him. Uh, Fritz likes him. I see, he um, seems like a nice guy to me. I don't know. I, I don't like him. Alpha, um, you, you get a pretty good read on him. You don't think he's lying. He, he seems pretty straightforward. When he talked about his father, he particularly was extra pouty about it a bit. And uh, oh. he really does not like his father, it seems like, from the way he was no, saying it. Little exile. We're still not taking him. Guys, he might be telling the truth, but we're not taking him with us. Thank you. you either think he's telling the truth, or you think he's a very good liar. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. I think it's. I think either way, it's helpful to keep him nearby because if he's untrustworthy, you keep your enemies close. We got to keep an eye on him, and well, if he's trustworthy, careful. ask the bird what he knows about this kid. Oh, fantastic! Based on you, him naming himself, the bird heard all that, and he says with a nasally voice again. Um, Rainier, take Rainier to the to the sewers. We will torture it out of him to find where the Stone of Galore is. Stone of Galore, Glory Stone. That... Stone of Galore. Oh, Galore. Oh. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about a very different adventure. G O L L O R E. Right. Something like that. Right. No. No. Yes. 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 I was thinking. <laughs> uh. And. Glory Hole, Glory uh, Stone. I whoa. Sure they were going. And do you know they've got some great bars in uh, the other side of Waterkeep. The other side of oh Waterkeep. I'm not babysitting this guy, so if you guys want to bring him, it's up to you. I, uh, I'll, I'll I'll take him, but I've still got this bird guy. I don't want to carry two guys around. Let's let okay. the bird go. Why the bird says, "I'm not babysitting the bird." The bird wants to go. But you know, every, I'll be honest, I think the bird's more useful. It's Yay. it just gave us new information. Thank you. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll let the bird go. You you no I'll let him go. And if somebody else wants to babysit him and say, look, we, we got what we About at this up. time, the the main doors of the of this warehouse, you hear a do 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 and do and they, they swing open and okay. you see uh you see a, a um, a captain of the guard come in uh, okay. from the city watch, and uh, and twelve constables following him, and they 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 look like ready for battle, and they look around, and they look at you and say, uh, "You there? What's your involvement in this?" Oh, don't worry. And that's I'm very I think a very good place to end it, though, because it is eleven thirty. That'll give us that'll give us a week to think about a a, a clever retort. <laughs> hey there, this is Greg Horve, and if you enjoyed this content, please consider dropping a like and subscribe on YouTube, or head over to Twitch TV at twitch.tv slash rtherule so you can follow us and watch us live every Thursday at 7pm Eastern Time. Thank you for watching.